Hey everyone, it's Sean. A really quick video showing a workaround for the math add-in for Office 2016. A few key points here. This is only for the newest version of Office 2016. If you have an older version of Office, you don't need this. Secondly, this is only a temporary workaround because the Office team is working on a fix. And finally, this works in Word, not quite OneNote, but I'll show you why. Okay, so let's dive right in. First of all, you want to make sure that you really do have Office 2016 and not Office 2013 or something older. Go into your account settings and look at your version number. It should tell you if it's uh, Office 2016. Also uh, check to see if you have a 32-bit or 64-bit version. You can see here I've got a 32-bit. So you do want to download the math add-in and as you can see here when you try and install it regularly you get the error message, hence this workaround video. So after you download the math add-in, instead of installing it, you want to open up your command prompt as an administrator. Just right click your start button and then open it as an administrator and type in exactly what you're seeing here. I've got all this information in my video description. This will extract that math add-in file. Go ahead and uh, create a folder within your drive C and put it in there. Really, you can put it anywhere you want, but I found uh, Drive C to be most convenient. Uh, I went ahead and named it Math Add-in. You can name it whatever you want. Click OK. It'll extract the files and it'll give you a message saying it's done it successfully. Excellent. Okay, so now that it's all extracted, you can actually go inside the Math Add-in folder and see what all the files look like. Okay, so you can see this is everything that was in the math add-in installer file. Now in my video description I have some commands that you can uh, go ahead and just copy and paste right into this same command prompt window. You're going to want to go ahead and change the text uh, so that it points to the folder where you put all the stuff in. So you can see I'm typing here C math add-in, that's exactly where I dropped all the files. And uh, you don't really need to change anything else, everything else uh, you can just leave it the same. And what this will do is this will allow you to install the math add-in. So go ahead and hit enter. And then you can see the installer opens. It didn't give you any error message. Go ahead and click next. You know, accept all the license agreements and all that good stuff. Uh, hit next and it will actually install the math add-in. Uh, the exception is if you don't have .NET 3.5, I have a link in my video description. Uh, that's the only, uh, or .NET 4, uh, that's the only roadblock that you might experience. Now, when you open up OneNote after successfully installing the math add-in, you'll see it's still not in OneNote and that was really frustrating for me. Uh, and what I found is that it actually successfully installed. You can see it under Math Add-in, it's right there, but the new version of OneNote 2016 doesn't accept it, it doesn't work. But it actually w works in Microsoft Word. So you can see when I open here Microsoft Word, the Math Add-in uh, works beautifully and all the functions worked. I tested it all, uh, nothing was broken. And you can actually see in my student video, I do a bunch of cool stuff in here. Now you can see here in this OneNote, I actually finally got it to work in OneNote, but it didn't quite work well because I couldn't do anything. I just saw it in the tab. Uh, and again, check out my video description to see how I was able to pull this off. Maybe somebody smarter than me might be able to take it all the way and figure out a proper workaround. Uh, but like I said, it works fantastic in Microsoft Word. So again, uh, check out my video description for all the information you need. Uh, give me comments to let me know what's working for you, what's not. And hopefully you found this video helpful. And like I said, if you were able to take what I did and build upon it to make it actually work fully in OneNote, please let me know. That will be fantastic for everyone. Uh, and I guess that's it. So thank you very much for watching.